everyone, welcome to another video. To those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Paula. Here I talk about perfumes and fragrances. And to those returning, my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for your continued love and support. As I've mentioned in my previous video that if I reach 500 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. And yes, as of today, it is the 10th of October, I did reach 500 subscribers. Thank you so much to each and everyone who subscribed and to those who are continuing on watching and enjoying my videos. So as my way of saying thank you to each and everyone, I will do a giveaway. I will announce it in my next videos. So, cause right now I do have a lot of pre-filmed videos and tags that I have to do. But here in this video, please let me know down in the comment section how you would want me to do the giveaway because I could like choose perfumes or have that sent or have them sent to you, but um, we know how difficult it is to send parcels like internationally because this giveaway will be an international giveaway. So I live here in Iceland currently and it is so hard to send packages out. And if I do get to send them, it's gonna be it's gonna take forever. I could do them via DHL, but then I don't know how it works in different countries if you guys have to pay customs and fees and taxes and all of that when you receive them. So, you know, it would defeat the purpose of the whole giveaway if I send you stuff, if I send you perfumes, and then you have to pay for them anyway. But I will be filming another video on what you guys need to do. It's not gonna be super complicated. You know, I don't need you guys to do a bunch of stuff so you can have an entry for the giveaway because it's just my means or my ways of saying thank you to each and everyone. Today is the 11th of October and this video will I think be uploaded in the next week or the week after that. So when I'm done with this, I will film another video and I will upload it and I will give you guys the specifics for the giveaway. So for today, before I start off with my video, I would like to remind you guys that if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you love my videos or you love hearing anything and everything about perfumes, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell when you do subscribe since it lets you know every time I put up a new content. So when you do that, click the notification bell. And if you like today's video and all my other videos, don't forget to click the like button since it helps my channel a lot and leave some comments down in the comment section below. So for today, I will be sharing with you guys my declutter video. This is my very first declutter. Um, I've actually decluttered a couple of fragrances, but I did not need to film it because I decluttered one and I decluttered another. But this will be a huge declutter. And some of you guys I know, or most of you will be so surprised with the fragrances that I will be decluttering today. So I will not go in depth about the perfumes i'm just gonna tell you guys why i feel like i need to declutter them so some of them are like already decided to be decluttered and some of them are still on the chopping block and some of them i am planning on getting maybe like another version of flanker another perfume that gives me the same feel as the one that i will be decluttering or is in the chopping block so without further ado i will start with the video I will be giving away or re-gifting or yeah, whatever you call it. I will be giving away this um, Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Um, I really, really like this. It's one of my very first, one of the oldest perfumes. It hasn't gone bad, but I just feel like I don't reach much for it. So um, yes, I will be giving this away. This is Marc Jacobs Daisy Love. The next three, I'm just going to be, you know hitting you guys with the hard stuff. I will be decluttering these three. So I wasn't so sure if I'm gonna be selling them here because I'm not even so sure how I'm gonna do that, maybe via Facebook or Instagram. But you know, I do want to give them like, or to sell them or gift them or whatever as a bundle. So anyway, I have the three uh, Girl of Nows by Elisa. I first got the original one and then they got the two flankers, the Shine and the Forever. I have been telling you guys that I really love them. I really do. Honestly, I really do. But the first one that I decided to declutter or was on the chopping block was Forever. This is like the summer edition. I was like, oh my God, this was actually my very first like summer-ish kind of fragrance. A little woodiness to it, a little muskiness or a little powderiness. But I do get a bit of bitter notes here. I do get a bitter accord. I think it's from the citrus peel that's in here. Um, I really love it, but I don't really reach much for it. So this was the first one on the chopping block and I was 
in between these two. So they are very similar. The Shine just has the pineapple accord, but I wish I got more of the pineapple. I don't really get like a very prominent pineapple um, smell to this one. It is a lot sweeter compared to the original. And the main difference between the two, again, you have the pineapple. This is a lot lighter, more versatile. You can wear it maybe spring and summer instead of just fall and winter. Sorry, that was my phone. But this one is more fall winter and you get most of the nutty accord in the for the original one so i was caught between the two i originally wanted to keep shine but then again i was like okay i prefer this one actually so i i have the original and then i just recently discovered thanks to macy fragrances or macy on instagram i'm gonna link her channel down below she did mention that there is a perfume that gives her similar vibe to um gives her a similar vibe to girl of now by Elisab, and that is the intense version of livia bell and i went to the mall like days ago i smelled it um for the first time because i wasn't really into the livia bell except for the the um the cloth that i have which i blind bought so i did go to the mall smelled the um, intense version and it really gives me a similar vibe or similar feel to Elisab's Grill of Now. They don't have similar notes, but it gives me the feel that I wanted to have in Girl of Now. And that one, the Livia Bell Intense version, is like a more wearable version, a more versatile version, and it's a lot sweeter. It's not as super dense, not as syrupy, not as heavy, and not as um, powdery compared to this one. So sadly, I will be parting ways with these three. I don't know if I'm going to be giving them separately or if I'm going to be selling them or giving them in a giveaway. So these three I will be parting ways with. And the next one that I have, I think I will be gifting or giving to either my mom or my sister-in-law. Because this one is a pricey one. This is, is a love at first sniff. But I did notice that I don't really reach for this one as much as I wanted to. And um, I already mentioned in my other videos that sometimes a love at first sniff fragrance is just a love at first sniff fragrance. But this one, I honestly, I really, really love it. But um, it is very similar to another fragrance that I own. So this is Victor and Rolf. This is the Flower Bomb Bloom. I did a separate review video on this one. I really want to keep it. But honestly, it gives me similar uh, feel with um th this one gives me a similar feel to victor and rolf uh flower bomb blue this is dkny stories this one has the um pink pepper and the whipped cream and the cardamom the guava they have a similar feel this one doesn't have uh pepper on it or pink pepper but it is bitter and leathery from the pomegranate but i feel like i reach for this one more than with flower bomb bloom they are not in they are not similar they don't have the same notes but i just prefer this one to flower bomb bloom if i want the feel that i want in this one that i reach for dkny stories so this one will be gifted and the next one I have, surprise, surprise, I'm not the first one to declutter this one. Dolce & Gabbana, this is Parfum. I have the huge 100ml bottle. This is your Raspberry Marshmallow um, fragrance. Um, I really like this. I actually really love the ones that I'll be parting ways with, but sadly, I just don't use them or I prefer other fragrances than the ones that are here. So this is your Raspberry and your Marshmallow. I did mention that this one performs a lot better during the colder days, and it does. But even though I really love the smell of this one, I don't really reach for it. And it's so surprising because this can be an appropriate work scent because it's light, it's mild, it's moderate in terms of sillage, sometimes skin scent. But this is like a perfect work scent, especially if you're working in healthcare. This is not bothering anyone at all. It's not offensive. But I don't know why I don't reach for it. So... If I'm not using a fragrance, I know my fragrance collection is very, very young, four or five months old, but um, I just noticed that I don't reach for this one, so I'm going to be parting ways with it. So this is Dolce & Gabbana's Parfum, and this is the original one. The next one that I have, I have two actually. I am parting ways immediately with them. I will be giving this maybe to my um, uh, husband's daughter. Uh, Fantasy by Britney Spears and the Rainbow Fantasy. 
I have been wearing this one. I've shown you guys the bottle. I did put a dent on it because this is a very beautiful fragrance. Actually, it's sweet. It has your um, cupcake and it has your chocolate, accord white chocolate. It's very nice. But if I want that vibe, you know, that fluffy, sweet, that very girly, feminine scent, I would rather reach for my Ariana Grande's Ari. Or if I want that super sweet straight up in your face and I would reach for Jessica Simpson's Fancy. So this one I will be giving away. And the Rainbow Fantasy, I honestly bought only because of the bottle. And um, I read that this one is not available in um, the US, I think. I'm not so sure, but maybe that was a review like years ago. But this one has your weird notes like finger lime. This one has skins on it. I think that's the note that's also present in um, REM. But this is beautiful actually. But then again, if I want that similar feel of fluffy, sweet, sugar, girly, feminine, young, then I would reach for my Ari or my Jessica Simpson. And then I have a Lancome. This is Lancome's La Nuit Resort Nude. I bought this one together with Musk Diamant and that one I gave after like a week when I bought it. But I gifted that to my aunt. It was her birthday and she came to visit and I showed her my perfume collection and she really loved that one so I gave that away. So this one I really loved. I've been wearing this actually during the summertime and I wore this to work. It's mild, but then it give, it projects, but it's like mild. It's not like, um, it's not annoying, not cloying, but I think my mom would love this one. So that's why I am keeping it because I do have a lot of perfumes. I don't need like other, I don't need the ones that I feel like I'm going to like in some certain days. I do want to keep perfumes that I know I will use. Like I don't need to think about them when I want to use them, you know? So this one will be given away and just to shock you guys <laughs> Sophia Love by Sophia Vergara I know I really really love this but just between the two this one and Sophia I prefer the original one because the original or the plain Sophia performs better it projects well it lasts longer they are not similar scents but in terms of performance I prefer the original one but what really made me um, think of sorry my nose itches what made me really think of um, decluttering this one or what put this in the chopping block was when I got Lenui Dezor uh, by Lancome they are not similar scents but this is what I wanted this to be I don't know why they are not similar but when I smell this this is everything that I want you know so and it has a similar ish kind of a feel to Sophia Love this one is my jelly donut fragrance I really love it but um, I'm sorry my nose really it's just I really love this but I'm pretty sure that some other people would enjoy this one more because I really don't need a lot of perfumes in my perfume collection. So this one will be gifted. And then I have this one. I didn't really use this a lot. This is Jimmy Choo Blossom. This is a special edition. I bought this one just because I saw it again. It was back on stock and I've been looking for it for two years. And I owned this again like two years ago and I've been looking for it. I couldn't find it. This is your Frangipani. Tropical fruits fragrance very very beautiful. I've been using it, but not quite a lot just to spray it and smell it So this was a love at first sniff. I bought it, but then You know, maybe I used it like two three times whatever not more than five times. So this will be gifted Jimmy Choo blossom and Then I have guest seductive noir. I bought this one. I really love this actually um a while ago, I filmed my um, entire perfume collection video and I used this one as my scent of the day. I can't smell it. That's one of the reasons why I'm deciding on letting this one go because this doesn't last a long time or more. It doesn't even last at all. So when I first got it, I really loved it. I've been wearing it, but immediately like a week or a couple of weeks after that, I put it back in the box. So this is Guest Seductive Noir. And then I have Diesel. This is Feminine Plus Plus. Uh, I got this because of the milk note, very lactonic, as people said. But 
I do get the milk note, but I don't appreciate all the other notes here. And I notice that when I wear it, I mean, it's okay, but it's not really like a wow kind of fragrance. Um, I really love the packaging though, and I kept the box. I keep it in the box because it looks like a milk carton. I love it. But this one will be given away as well. Olympia by Paco Rabanne. I am giving this away. I actually promised to give this to somebody here in Iceland and I haven't really had the chance to go and give it to her because she lives in another, not another city, but you know, it's a drive and I've been very busy and you know, COVID and all of that. So <clears throat> she really loves this one. I've been mentioning that I need to be in a mood to wear this because this one is wearing me than I wearing it. But she really loved this one. I have a huge 50 ml bottle and she was like, are you sure you're not going to try it during fall and winter? Because, you know, it's during the colder months. You said you wanted to try it during the cooler days. But, you know, I just decided to, you know, if, if somebody really loves it and she's really sweet. She's always watching my videos and she's always commenting. And then, you know, she did mention that she really loved this one. And, you know, it doesn't make sense for me to keep it if there's somebody who really, really loves it and would give this one so much love so i'm giving this one to her this is the olympia and one of the main reasons why i bought a um, pure excess i can't find it it's somewhere here pure excess was when i thought that pure excess was similar to olympia they're not similar at all i'm gonna put a card up above i did a review of this one and comparing them together but you know i originally wanted to get this one that because if it is similar then i would keep one and not the both of them but um I just decided to give this one away because again somebody loves this one more than i do and the next one is <gasps> lancome's idol i am giving this one you guys i have a 25 ml bottle i think my mom would really like this this is a rose pear fragrance i wasn't planning on giving this one away what made me decide to give this one away was when i smelled the intense version I went to the mall days ago and I smelled um, the intense version of this one and also a few other new fragrances. When I smelled the intense version, I really, 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 really preferred it like a hundred times more than this one. It doesn't have the pear in there, but it has your mandarin orange and all your other notes and I really loved it. So immediately when I smelled it, I was like, yep, I'm going to be giving this one away and I will get the intense version. Not right now, but yes, I'm going to get the intense version. And then I have Amo Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo. I am giving this one away because I bought this one together with I Love Love. They are not similar, but they give me that kind of citrus um, feel that I want in a fragrance, in a summer fragrance. And I prefer this one more. This performs a lot better than Amo Ferragamo. They're not similar. Just had to put that out there. They're not similar. But this one, the citrus lasts a lot longer. This performs more. I received compliments. I really love the entrance of this one, that creamsicle or that soda, orange soda feel to this one. But as a lot of people said, um, it doesn't last long that soda orange soda or creamsicle um, accord doesn't last long and this dries down to a beautiful powdery fragrance but um i prefer this one more if i want to feel that citrus kind of um, vibe then i would prefer the i love love so i've been wearing this actually but not that much i have a 30 ml bottle so yeah this will be given away sold or whatever this one I'll be giving, I don't know, to add my mom or sister. I don't really have a lot of choices. But this is Burberry for women. This has a very, um, it's not a sentimental value, but I bought this one for nostalgic reasons. I bought this because it reminded me again of my cousins or my aunts or my uncles. This was released in 1995 and it really reminds me of that time. And my son, when he smelled this, he said that, it smells like the mall back home in the Philippines, and it really does. It's a beautiful peach fragrance. I really love it, but it has a note in here that makes my stomach turn, and I think that's one of the reasons why I decided to put it in the box immediately after using it, because you know it has a note in there that you know I just makes me feel weird. So that's Burberry for women. I have a love at first sniff 
but it has a note here it's not a note but the dry down in this fragrance is it has a note here or not a note but the dry down in this one um i don't really like you don't you don't really get it but you know i'm the kind of person that i really put my nose into it and then if i detect that there is that note in there i just zone in so this is hugo boss boss alive i raved about it i love this one this was a love at first sniff this is the kind of fragrance that i really love that you know once i smelled it i just bought it right away i didn't need to like spray it on my hands spray it on my skin or walk around 30 minutes or an hour and then come back no i bought this one right away this is a beautiful fruity entrance and it's like creamy woody and smooth in the base but there is something there when i spray it that's like what is it there so this is not an affordable or like not all my fragrances are affordable because when you come to think about it like if you buy maybe like five ten dollar fragrance that's fifty dollars anyway so i don't like to say like it's not an, it's an affordable fragrance because if i buy them mall price it's going to be super expensive if if i buy them online for like a steal or like a discounted price i have to pay for taxes anyway so it's not really cheap so this one i bought mall price but i i think i'm so sure my mom would prefer this one so i am giving this to her i'm not so sure when because yeah we were supposed to go home this year but we can't i'm not so sure if we can even go home next year it depends you know how this whole pandemic um works so i will be keeping most of them with me or send them in a box or like a package and the last one that I will be decluttering, I'm not so sure, maybe I'm gonna give this away, but it's Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One. Yeah, I know. The caramel coffee, but the powderiness here in the, in the middle and the dry down kind of bothers me because I do notice, I really love the entrance to this, the sweetness to it, like the coffee note. But I do notice that when it dries down, I have like a sneeze fit or like, I don't know how you call it, but it, it just bothers my nose. It's too powdery and it has something in the base that I can't really quite pinpoint that is like, I don't really like. And um, Frances, my dear Frances, uh, Happiness Sparkles did mention that she also noticed a dry down, a note in the dry down of this one that she doesn't like as well. And it was like, Okay, so that's what it is. So I'm not so sure what it was, but now that you talked about it, I get I, I get what you mean. So, you know, yeah, just for that reason, I will be giving this one away. So I do hope that, you know, like, I could send this one to you guys if you like it, like in a giveaway or something, but I'm gonna find a way how to do that. Just for example, with these ones, this would be like a perfect giveaway bundle. Or like for this one, I know a lot of people like this. I could, you know, send it to you, but I don't know how that will work out. So, um, yeah, these are the fragrances that I am decluttering. I already put them back in the box. I do keep all my fragrance boxes, but for the ones that are on the chopping block where I'm sure that I'll be decluttering, I put them back in the box. So those are my for sure, like 100% I'll be giving away or gifting or whatever you call it. But I do have some that I am thinking of swapping with another fragrance or um, it's like on the chopping block, but it's not really there. It's like beside it. You know what I'm saying? And one is Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I am planning on getting either the um, Opry because I preferred that one more or I'm going to go by... <clears throat> sorry scandal by night i don't we don't have scandal by night here but i'm willing to blind buy it because i've seen a lot of people prefer the scandal by night i know um soki london preferred she did a video she does like collections video and she did say that she preferred so scandal or scandal by night because some people say that this one is like your party girl it's very loud but then the other one the scandal by night is like your very confident it's like the older sister of scandal it's like it's loud but it, it's like it's loud in a way without making so much effort 
So with that description, I was like, yeah, I think if I'm gonna get either So Scandal or Scandal by Night, I will not be keeping this one. So this one will also be gifted or whatever. So this is on beside the chopping block. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's a very long video as a part two to my other long video, which was my collections video. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And um, yes, let me know down in the comment section below like what you thought about the ones that I decluttered and that will mean so much to me. Also, don't forget to leave a like for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. As I always say, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you on the next one.